In 1981, ACDC followed up their two monumental albums of Highway to Hell and Back in Black with the album For Those About to Rock, We Salute You. It features some heavy bangers like the title track and Let's Get It Up, but today we're going to turn our attention to a lesser known track from the album called Evil Walks. Evil has been around us and we didn't even know it as the team over at Google Stadia dropped a surprise announcement this Monday morning that two Resident Evil games were coming to the platform. This announcement was in conjunction with the commencing of Resident Evil's 25th anniversary celebration. And hidden in between all these announcements, is there a secret third Resident Evil game waiting for us? While we will wait at the very least another 24 hours for the announcement of Stadia's April Pro Games lineup, Google wasted no time getting one of those announcements out early Monday morning. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition was announced as the latest entrant into the Stadia Pro lineup, and arguably is the biggest title to be Stadia Pro to date. Resident Evil 7 landing on Stadia isn't entirely too surprising if you are familiar with the ransomware leak that happened to Capcom a few months prior. But it does give official confirmation to one attribute of that leak, and that's the exorbitant costs it would seem that Google paid for this game. While there are several reports regarding Google's expenditures to bring certain ports to the platform, $10 million for AAA titles such as Resident Evil and Red Dead Redemption are pricey numbers and is clearly Google's position going forward without worrying about possible sinking costs from a first-party studio. This isn't a way to discuss the pros and cons of shutting down the aforementioned studio, but outsourcing game development to bring big hitters to your platform with no research and development team need to be worried about, payroll or other expenses necessary to develop these games may very well be viable as long as sales and pro subscriptions perform at par or better. Resident Evil 7 is no stranger to being included in a game service subscription as it is currently a part of Xbox Game Pass and the PlayStation Plus collection to PlayStation 5 owners. However, as far as I'm aware, neither of those are the gold editions of the game, which the Stadia version will feature. It hasn't been revealed what the cost of 7 will be if you don't have a pro subscription, but one would have to imagine it would be in line with other services. Resident Evil 7 will launch alongside Stadia's next big game coming out, Outriders, on April 1st. While getting Resident Evil 7 is all well and good, but that's yesterday's news, guys. What about Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8? Well... That was also a part of that leak and officially confirmed as coming to Stadia day and date, Resident Evil 8 will launch May 7th. So players in the cloud will be able to gaze at the wonders of Lady Dimitrescu. The big woman's still here. Stadia must have saw some great success with the cyberpunk promotion they did half a year ago because Stadia is running a similar promotion come launch day for Resident Evil 8. All pre-orders of Resident Evil 8 on Stadia will grant users a free premiere edition to add to their collection. I'm at the point personally where I have more Chromecasts and screens to put them on, so I personally probably won't find much use for it if I choose to pre-order this game at all, but this is a big deal for the Stadia platform. Resident Evil 8 is arguably one of the biggest games of the first half of 2021, and it will find its way to Stadia right at launch to give the platform yet another game to show what it can truly do. While we aren't sure of the technical requirements this particular game will need to run at its absolute best, it may be a good way to show off Stadia in a positive light, much like Cyberpunk did back in November. Offering users a free way to play the game in its best format on the big screen with the Stadia controller, well... I, I see this as an absolute win. What do you see this big news as for Stadia? Will you be taking down the undead on Stadia, or is Resident Evil just not your cup of tea? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you could also drop a like, that'll really help us out. But the most important thing you can do is share this video with a friend. A friend who still can't get a next-gen console and wants to play Resident Evil 8 at the absolute best it can be. And as always, thank you, and we will catch you down the road. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said a third Resident Evil game, didn't I? I th that's what I thought I said. Well, spotted by Tommy Danger over on Twitter is this little tidbit. Now, this can be seen in the game description portion of Resident Evil 8 Village on the Stadia store, whether you're looking at the app or the website, and it reads as follows. The operational periods for Resident Evil Reverse will be announced in advance on the official website. This title may become available through other means in the future. Now, 
while this is mentioning the possibility of the upcoming online only multiplayer game that is set in the Resident Evil universe, we gotta keep our tinfoil hat on just a little bit because it's possibly just a copy paste description. Uh, it wasn't mentioned within the blog post that I saw, so let's just keep the speculation on for just a moment. But this is, well, quite possible to be coming to the platform if they're going to be spending all the time and effort of bringing it over to every other platform. This is just the online free game. Why not do the same thing? Now, however, we don't know, obviously, but the open beta test for other platforms we know is scheduled for April 8th, and this game is going to be part of Resident Evil 8 purchases on other platforms, so we can only assume the same for Stadia. Capcom is being coy about the details if this game will be an actual purchase if you take too long to buy Resident Evil 8 or if it'll be a separate free download. Either way, this is an additional good get to keep it in line with other platforms with the caveat of if it's actually coming to Stadia or not. But uh, keep that in mind because this is maybe being hinted at in a very, you know, very coy way. So again, for real, thank you, and we will see you later.